directfix.com presents the iPhone 3GS take apart and repair directions warning this content is intended to be used for informational and entertainment purposes only you're using these video directions and its content at your own risk AX Microsolution Inc. makes no representation warranties or condition of any kind express or implied following these directions on this video will avoid your warranty you're performing this repair at your own risk be sure to visit us on the web at directfix.com for all your parts and accessory needs at checkout, use coupon code YouTube for 5% off your first order. Using the SIM removal tool, or if you don't have one available, use a paper clip and remove the SIM tray. Using a small Phillips screwdriver, there are two screws located at the bottom of the iPhone, right on each side of the main connector. Remove both of those with the small Phillips screwdriver. Using a case opener tool from directfix.com, pry it between the top of the chrome rim and the edge of the screen. This will allow you to pop the screen up. Be careful, there are still three ribbons attached. There are still three cables holding the display to the motherboard. They are numbered 1, 2, and 3. Make sure you remove them in that order. The third one is a little tricky as it is pushed in and not just pushed down on the connector. You'll lift a small white tab at the back of the connector up to about a 45 degree angle and the ribbon will slide out. Now taking the top screen assembly in order to separate the touch panel or digitizer from the LCD you'll need to remove three screws from one side and two from the other. We're going to speed this up a little bit to get this going. This is removing three screws from the first side. On the other side of the screen there are two small Phillips screws that need to be removed. There is one more screw at the top back of the assembly that will need to be removed with a small Phillips screwdriver also before you're able to remove the LCD assembly. Using a case opener tool, gently remove the LCD assembly. If you have cracked your iPhone 3GS touch panel, we're now going to show you the directions on how to replace the touch panel that is cracked. We're now going to remove the broken digitizer touch panel from the frame. Using a hair dryer or a heat gun, be careful not to melt anything, but you will need to heat the glue adhesive that is between the frame and the touch panel. You need to run the heat gun or the hair dryer around the edges of the assembly to loosen that glue. The length of time required to heat the frame may vary depending on the hair dryer or heat gun you're using. Using a case opener tool, you're going to pry between the plastic frame and the glass assembly. Once you've loosened it a little bit, use the case opener tool to run it along the edge to break the adhesive seal between the touch panel and the frame on both sides and this will allow the touch panel assembly to break free and come free of the plastic frame. After you remove the digitizer touch panel, remove the old adhesive from the frame.
using the iPhone 3GS adhesive kit that is specially die cut for the iPhone 3GS, you're going to apply it to the frame. Once the adhesive is applied to the bottom, make sure to work out any of the air bubbles so it's firmly in place. Once the top adhesive is in place, once again work out the air bubbles. There is a small tab that will allow you to pull up off the little coating that will make the adhesive double sided sticky on both the top and the bottom. Remove both top film from the top adhesive and the bottom adhesive. Now reinstall the new digitized. Make sure the cables go under the frame. Once you line up the top touch panel, make sure you line up the bottom with the home button also before pressing firmly to make the final seal and put it back together. You are now going to remove the following ribbons. Ribbon 4, 5, 6, and 7. Please remove them in the ordered number. Using a small Phillips screwdriver, you're now going to remove seven screws. One of the screws is hidden underneath the number seven cable, and there is a warranty sticker that will need to be removed before removing this screw. This screw is longer than the other ones. With the motherboard removed, we can now remove the battery. Using the case opener tool, the battery is only held in with some double-sided tape on the back. There is no other connectors holding it together. You'll be able to just pop it right out using the case opener tool. Please be sure to click the link on the right side of the screen to take you to our website, directfix.com, for all your parts and accessory needs.